Hey everybody, I'm Elena and today I'm going to bring to you a new concept of video that I just saw on Jessica Braun's channel here on YouTube and it's the products I just can't read of. And looking through my collection I found several products that I just can't get rid of. So without further ado, I'm going to show them to you and talk to you about them a little bit. So first things first, this is MAC Prep and Prime. This is well expired in the color medium. This is the eye primer from MAC. I had this, this is embarrassing to admit, but I've been having this for probably seven years now. This uh, is supposed to be MAC's primer for the eyelids. Thing is, see, now it's expired. <laughs> it's too emollient. Uh, yes, it cancels the, the blue veins and whatnot onto your eyelids but this is like a memorabilia for me because it was a Christmas present you know back when I started buying high-end products and whatnot and I got given this and uh, I've been cherishing this but it doesn't perform well it never did it never helped my eyeshadow to stay in place it always creased yes it cancelled but it's always been better to use those uh, painterly pot from MAC which is an eyeshadow but it works better than as a primer than the original MAC primer does so yeah and it's still in my collection and I know I should get rid of this but it's still there because what if what if <laughs> next up Urban Decay All Nighter foundation this was a real dud because I got 4.0 the undertone of this is Simpson yellow and it oxidizes big time like it's nothing new I got it way back then and I got this you know in hopes that it wouldn't oxidize just as much well it looked hideous and orange but just right at the bat this is way too yellow for me I don't know I swatch it at the store at Sephora the lights were confusing to say the least and this looked like a perfect match maybe I should have grabbed a 3.5 instead of a 0, .0. Uh, but I grabbed a 0, .0. I never ever have been able to use this as a foundation or anything not on me not even on my clients I don't know who is this yellow color I'm sure there are someone out there but to me it never worked but still you know I paid good money for this and I still I don't know what do I think? Do I think that someday I'm gonna be Simpson Yellow? <laughs> because check this, this is Simpson Yellow. I don't know what I'm thinking, but I still cling on to this. Another thing, another foundation that I cannot get rid of is this, this, this. There's this epic ink from NYX that I applied beforehand on my lips. Dior Skin Star. Now, there's nothing wrong about this formulation, this foundation. The thing is, I look pretty pale in the winter time, but just one once in my lifetime I hit this color and never again. And I don't know why I bought color number 10, is it instead of 20? So color number 10 is the lighter that they make. And of course, it's a tad too light for me right now. Like I can work it alright with bronzer and whatnot, but come on, look at this. It's way, way, way too light for me. I never get got rid of this because I always think I'm gonna add the Body Shop um, custom drops, you know, to darken it because I like the finish of the foundation and whatnot. But you know what happens? That when when the time arrives, you know, to apply the foundation, I don't reach for this because to me, of course, it's more convenient to grab a foundation that matches my skin tone rather than going mixing, you know, when I'm on the go and I'm in a hurry than sitting here and figuring out how and figuring out how many drops of the brown liquid I need to apply on this. But can you see the difference between this yellow that's always gearing into orange? Like this will turn orange into your face. And now this is this porcelain oh my goodness gracious I don't know what I was thinking another thing that I never get rid of and this was a dud for me at least is this NYX gotcha cover total coverage foundation uh, total cover um, concealer 
this concealer, yes, it's waterproof, it's real thick, but you know what? It shows up. It's really apparent on the skin. When I film, I never got rid of this because I, every now and then, let me switch it for you guys in here. When I film on camera, it works flawless. It looks flawless, beautiful, but on the naked eye, you know, for an every, everyday basis, this is too thick of a consistency. It's really apparent that you're wearing something out there. It creases a little bit, not crazy. It doesn't crease like crazy, but it creases a little bit. But most, mostly it's like real cakey, you know, real into your face. So it's real good for filming, but to hit the streets with that, I would never. So I don't know what I keep on, what I keep on using this. Like I think I'm gonna sit here and apply this concealer no, nine times out of ten, I will just apply something that because then I'm gonna go on with my day, you know, and I don't want to go on the streets wearing apparent concealer, if you know what I'm trying to say. This, this is a Lancome 316 liquid lip, who knows what. I never seem to be able to get rid of this, probably because I paid a lot of money for this, but this is this frosty pink with lots of metallic shimmer. Then I also have to admit I got this way back when and way back when I mean like four or five years ago and it was really in trend. I wanted this frosted like snow frost I don't know what I was thinking queen of, queen of the eyes Elsa lips <laughs> that I never wore in real life you know Maybe if I went out at night or something, I would pull this off. Then the matte trend hit. Now we're going more into metallics. I might pull this off again, but I never got rid of this and I never used this because this is way too much, you guys. Way, way too much. Something that I just bought on a whim a couple summers ago and I thought I was going to use the heck out of this and I just used this twice. It's the Shocking Tropical Tutu eyeshadow that it's even broken the, the cap I don't know why from L'Oreal um, this was a summer collection yeah real tropical whatever green orange blue and this and it's all shimmer it is all shimmer not one eyeshadow not one matte eyeshadow real tropical real fun let me swatch it for you guys I don't know. You tell me. It's not really potent. It's not like a potent eyeshadow that you can really not pull off, you know. But who am I kidding? And I'm never using this. But then again, it's like, I just used it twice. What if I need this pop of color that I'm never gonna use? But what if? And it's still there. It's still there. What? what's still in my collection is this older than time bourgeois bronzing powder for light to medium skin this is meant to be like a chocolate bar I kept this for memorabilia but it's time for it to go it doesn't even deliver color anymore like look at this I could scrape in here well if I scrape real hard course is gonna show up but it was this bronzer that I had and I kid you not I've had this for over 10 years even though they still sell this this is a bronzer that has specks of golden golden specks in it of glitter and it smells like chocolate and it still smells like chocolate to this day but there have been so much better launches ever since then and I never seem to be able to get rid of this even though it's well expired it doesn't work <laughs> it's patchy but it's still there it is still there and last but not least because we could go this for ages and ages something that i'm never being able to get rid of is this two faced summer eye palette eyeshadow palette of course but come on again I was so hyped living in Barcelona thinking who knows what. Let me tell you how many matte eyeshadows are in here. Zero. Like zero, zero. Not one. This is all shimmer, shimmer, shimmer and real shimmer. But then I think 
what if I get rid of this and then I decide that I need this really shimmery shades, this really shimmery pops of color. And I don't know. Let's just grab this for all time's purpose. Let's just swatch a few of them in here. It's not like they are ugly colors, but come on, let's be real. It all has this golden specs. I don't know if you can see on camera, but of course this is, I suppose it is, is to s mimic the summer, the beaches, the, uh, I don't know, suntan, you know, the sand with the reflections, but it's all golden upon golden upon golden glitter. Can you see the look? This is the kind of looks that you create with this. Yes, every now and then I force myself to grab this and add a pop of color. Like, there are not ugly shades, but is this a realistic palette that I'm gonna use? No, no it's not. But I never get rid of this because the quality is good. And again, it's Too Faced and I think, well, maybe I could be using Sunbeam or Peach Fuzz. Truth be told, I never do. I very seldom do, but still it's there, you know, because it's like, I remember the day that I bought this and how happy I was that I got this. I was living, it was my last year living at the city. It brings so many memories, but it doesn't make sense, but it's still in my collection, you know, taking space, not being used. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed this new concept of video. And again, let me know down below or if you want to create your own video of products you never you never seem to be able to get rid of, I'll just do it by any means. I would be happy to find out some products that other people are like we, we cling onto products that at the end of the day there are just things taking up space, you know, into our homes, our collections, our pouches, you name it. But yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please make sure to give it a good thumbs up. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below if you haven't already and leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Have a great day. See you in the next one. Bye!